The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, right now, I'm chefing it up right now. Got the eggs going. Got to get some good nutrients in my system before the Daniel Jacobs Gabriel's out of life fight reaction. If you're watching this before that fight happens, join me in my live right now. Okay, if, if you're watching and it's, it, and it's close to that time, join me in my live right now. But uh, this is the official post fight review for Tony Yoka versus um, versus Christian Hammer. And it was an interesting fight in the career of Tony Yoka. It was a fight that was going to tell us a lot about just where, where exactly Tony Yoka was at in his career right now. You know, because Tony Yoka, he's had a lot, of, he's had a very interesting career thus far in boxing, you know, winning the gold medal in the 2016 Olympics, beating the likes of Philip Hergovic, Ivan Ditchko. Joe Joyce, you know, he's a very decorated amateur and there's a lot of high hopes for him coming out of, out of France. But now he stepped up, you know, fresh off of his PED suspension, fighting a Christian Hammer who, Christian Hammer is taking guys like Luis Ortiz and, and um, Povetkin, Alexander Povetkin in the distance. So it wasn't going to be no walk in the park, but it was a fight that he was expected to not just win, but look on doing it. Now, in, in watching this fight... It was really my first like extended look at Tony Yoka because he's kind of, for me, just I'm speaking for myself, nobody else. I know who he is. I'm familiar with him. I know his resume. I know what he did in the amateurs. But like, for me, he's flown under the radar in regards to like watching and paying attention to him. I just haven't, you know, he hasn't been on my radar like that. But he, he's on my radar now. And I was looking for him to make an impression. You know, at six foot seven, he's, he's very fluid. Very fluid. He knows what he's doing in there. But... He seems to still have some, some amateur tendencies, and that's okay at this stage of your career. That's okay um, being only eight fights in. But as far as the talk about stepping him up to fight these guys sooner rather than later, like like, like, like the Hergovics and the, and the Furies and the AJs and even the Joe Joyce's, pump the brakes. This kid needs some work. If there's one thing that I learned about uh, Tony Oka from watching this fight, it was that this kid has a lot of technical work that needs to be done. He... he he, he, he doesn't impose himself on his opponents. Um, some people were saying on a live jokingly that he didn't have his PEDs, so that's why he didn't box as well. But no, no, no. I think Tony Yoka, there's there's some, there, there, there's definitely a, a good a, 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 a lot of potential there. You know, being six foot seven, very fluid, speed, all that stuff. He's got a. He, he, I don't think he's in watching him fight and watching how he he handled the roughhouse tactics of Christian Hammer who was taking all 265 pounds of that fat frame, barreling on top of him. I don't think Tony Yoka has a clear-cut set identity of who he is in that ring yet as a professional. He had it as amateur, but he does not yet have it as a professional. And that's okay. He'll learn that in time. But um, he, did no, he, did, he didn't really make me... I, I, he, left a lot to, he left a lot to be desired in this fight. And um, I think that we should pump the brakes on uh, him fighting Hergovic or any of these guys. He needs to take some time. And if I, were, if I were his manager, like if I had uh, the honor and the blessing of, of being Tony Oka's manager, I would do my best, if possible. I don't know what the, what the whole situation in France is because I'm not, I'm not really too familiar with, with what's going on in that country. But if possible, if I could get Tony Oka out of France and get him to come to America for, to, to get some quality sparring with somebody on a consistent basis, to get, some, get him some quality heavyweight work or take him to the UK and get him some quality heavyweight work, I would do that. You know, I, I don't know what his training situation is like, but if he hasn't done that already, he's going to need to do it because he didn't look like he knew how to handle a style to where a guy is barreling down on top of you. And he looked weak in terms of strength, in terms of strength and being able to handle what Christian Hammer was throwing at him. He looked weak. And it's very concerning for an objective boxing fan, like myself, for someone who's objective, that, that I have no ill will to Tony Yoka. I don't hate either guy. You know, I wish him. I wish him a long and fruitful career. It's very concerning when you're fighting in the big boy division and you don't know how to handle a Christian Hammer, like uh, uh, a Christian Hammer. Um, and to be honest with you, you can make the excuse that hey, he, he had he had a a long layoff. But guess what? Everyone had everyone in the boxing has a long layoff. It's, it's the COVID nineteen pandemic. Everyone in boxing's having a, a damn layoff. So he's not special. Um, after three, after three to five rounds, I wanted to see Tony Yoka improve in the back half of that fight, and he just left a lot to be desired, you know. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying he can't be going on to become a good fighter. I'm not saying he can't go on to become a potential champion. I'm not saying that because he struggled with Christian Hammer and on my scorecard, I had that, I had that fight a draw, but he won because of the point deduction. 
Um, I'm, I'm not saying that he can't go on to still have a good career. He can. It's just it's gonna have it's it's gonna take some time, and he needs a lot of work. When I say a lot of work, I mean a lot of work needs to be done in the name of him improving as a fighter. You see what I'm saying? Uh, hold on. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Sorry, I just freaking got grease in myself. But he he's got a lot of work to do as a fighter. You know, but um. Got a good uppercut, got a good snappy jab, um, and he's got a chance to be a factor in boxing for a long time, you know, so, so shout out to shout out to uh, Tony Oka, you know, uh, don't take this as a loss, take it as a learn, you know, you got a chance to go on there and uh, with, with a guy like Christian Hammer, an experienced veteran who, um, who's who been in there with the likes of Fury and Ortiz and, and guys like that, it wasn't his first rodeo, so even if Yoko would have fought to the best of his abilities, he probably wouldn't have stopped Christian Hammer because Christian Hammer is just one of those heavyweights that know how to, that know how to survive, that, that have that kind of experience. And there's no shame in that because not everybody's going to stop a Christian Hammer. Not everybody's Tyson Fury. You see what I'm saying? But um, overall, just not an impressive performance. Very underwhelming. Um, I still got Herger Rick and Daniel Dubois as my 1A and 1B. You know, uh, this kid tonight did not, did not, in my opinion, do enough for me to change... Uh, the order of how I see things among the young heavyweights. But that's my post fire review. Tony Yoka gets a decision victory unanimously over Christian Hammer. Um, for the Christian Hammer side of things, I think there's still a lot of fight left in him. I'm just disappointed that he didn't come into this fight more in shape because I, I really think this fight was there for him to, to win if he would have been in shape. But, you know, that's what, cookie, what, that's what the cookie crumbles. I think Christian Hammer has got, got a lot of fight left in him. And I like, I like to see him in there with the likes of Hergovic or Daniel Dubois. As a future opponent. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. But like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go take care of these eggs before I burn the house down. You take care guys. God bless.